Yeah. Yeah. Doc, an unfortunate end for the pumpkin. Doc, you're already subscribed to me, so you already contributed. It to, oh, yeah. Doc, you already... Oh, by the way, uh, chat. I have a pumpkin this year. And, oh, yeah. Uh, I'm yeah. a for both you and TikTok. Yeah, essentially, this man skin. decided to just, like, if you reach 100 likes, he will destroy that pumpkin. Not 100 likes. If I reach 50 subs by the end of October, let's make this a fair goal. I might stretch it if it gets there too quickly. If we reach, fi if I reach 50 subs on my channel, or, or do you need it's either uh, 30, 30 for 200 subs. If I reach 200 subs, or this man reaches 50 subs, then he will destroy I'm this. that pumpkin with a crowbar. Yes. I also own a chainsaw, so that can be interesting. As for me, I will go outside, buy a random pumpkin, and then just yeet it to the ditch behind my house. Dude, I want to get in the pumpkin chucking so bad. It looks so fun, but my state's not redneck enough. Your state's not redneck enough? It's like such a redneck activity, but it looks like one of the best redneck activities. Yeah. Because I felt mean because I, I drew a smiley face on it. The best redneck like activity <laughs> is racism. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay, JK, okay, chill. Dude, what the fuck? That one got me. <laughs> I mean, you seen that South Park episode? I mean, you played Fractured Butthole. You know, you know that those rednecks from yeah. that game. <laughs> yeah, I did. We don't take kindly to your types around here. But it'll uh... it'll get you fucking bad. <laughs> Dude, I already played it. Didn't get any kind of like red flags. All units, 1199. Expedite cover code three. Deacon Mental Hospital. <laughs> 184 copy. Code three. ETA three minutes. Copy 184. This was the last game she's Sorry, Tommy made. I know you just coming off the case, direct. but I'm afraid we're gonna have to make a deal. Sucks. Yeah, I know. Hang it, joke. It sounds serious. Anymore. Is it a riot? We'll call one Yuri Lowenthal said it was multiple homicides. Half a dozen units already on scene. You're you the ghost of that doctor who went schizo and chopped up all those patients. That's not what happened. Some patients disappeared. Some kind of scandal? Still, gives you the creeps, doesn't it? Joseph, you think there's a connection? It's a possibility. I believe the records were sealed. Anyone on scene respond. Dispatch, this is Detective Castellanos in 184. What's the situation? Over. 184, be advised. Some problem with the Castellanos. Speak in the Mario on has come back and stopped. Is there any. It sounds cool. Also, a headache. God damn it. Jesus! I'm using the AI writing software. It says I'm using the AI writing software. I keep bringing up the AI health stuff. Like, that shit's saved in the Junior Detective Kid. I think so. Any thoughts? Nothing yet. We're all good. No, I'm sure we'll know everything once we get there. Yes and no. Um, there we go. Fixed it. Oh, yeah. Because here's the thing. Realism, the game's plot is actually make? decent. But with the gateway, it's like told. It is. Yeah. And let it's very it's Resident Evil esque. Joseph Kidman, you're if with I me. Like a horror, we're going like, to look around. Game, right. I would have recordings, like all recordings. Not that you can just listen to while you're playing, like by the show. None of the back shit. I like that, though. It's cool. But it's also the weakest in the God. trilogy. Weak is smells dude, like blood. The second best one. All right, stay short. The weakest and we're gonna argue Bioshock. You would, you but dude, dude. Here's the thing. We're gonna check. I'm, it out. Just because I said so it's weak doesn't mean I say it's story. bad. It's a good I game, but it's not. We how do I say this? Here. It's You're missing bad. something. It was literally DLC. <laughs> dude, I love two. Two got me to the series. I will not have just have you slander it. Like I'm pretty sure two was supposed to be DLC before no. they made it. No. Dude, it took two years for the game to be made. Actually, three. Did you hear something? It also took two years for the shivering house to be made. Therefore, I rest my case. 
And Infinite was in development hell, and a lot of the stuff Ken Someone Levine wanted to do couldn't be done because the company was like, no, get rid of all the stuff that makes it Bioshock, like the exploration, and you know, all the lore. This should make it a COD clone, with magic powers. Hey, 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 it's not my fault you hate Sky Racists. Oh no, here's the thing, everyone hates Sky Racists, dude. Hey, Sebastian. Are you injured? What happened here? Can't be real. We can't Impossible. Like I like the letterbox. No, we're keeping it on. I've got him. The security cameras might tell us something. I was gonna turn on my AC because it's cold as shit in here. Hold on. Yeah, I'm gonna have to grab the remaster at some point. Yeah, that's, it's dirt cheap nowadays, actually. Hello. If one gunshot doesn't kill the thing you're trying to shoot at, that's some supernatural enemy. You'd think you would just, just hightail the fuck out of there. One hundred percent, especially when that thing can teleport. God, that sucks. We're never gonna get an evil within three because Tango was bought by Crafton, and Crafton didn't buy the IP. No, Microsoft is basically Microsoft made them. Is it bad that I hate the it's getting annoying at this point, but what can you do? But since we're not, I will slander EA with all my heart and soul. Hi, buddy. How you yes, doing? Yeah, see, slander game companies all the time. I say fuck you to Atari, EA. Oh shit, that's metal. Capcom to some extent. Actually, the only beef with Capcom is they keep canceling good Mega Man games. Well, not exactly. I'm referring, to I'm referring to those really cool projects that they canceled back in the mid 2000s. First off, that game sucked. Second, of, that game looked like it was gonna suck. Second of all, you're kind of right. But the thing is, I know the one you're referring to. That one would not fit Mega Man at all. Hurry up, Seb. Like, they can legally do that, right? You move out of Inafune? Yeah, not only that, they proved they could do better than Inafune. They need to go back to it, take what they have, add some more to it, and then release it on Switch. Or just release the demo that we know they have finished that's just sitting in a vault somewhere. Or is Aliens Colonial Marines. The company was just straight up wanting its downfall at this point. Shit. Did you know that? Oh, this is the PS1. And they had so many plans for it. No, here's the thing. The 64... The, si the 60... Here's the thing. The 6400 was technically more powerful. The problem was the cartridge. Yeah. The console was powerful enough, the problem is it was for a console that, you know... No, no console there. Why do you think Silent Hill had to do like a lot of weird tricks to get the game run? And Sebastian has... And Sebastian has God knows how many infections on him now. Oh God, I've got to hurt syphilis now. He's literally bathing in blood. He has God knows how many infections now. God, your counter just goes up and starts going off too. Yeah. God, I love this dude. It's such 2000s horror and I love it. He did me saw by. I think that's the vibe they were going for. A lot of the marketing in this game was very 2000s-esque. Like, for example, like the obsession with barbed wire, the dark and gritty environments, the God, blood God, everywhere. This company to the fucking song. <sighs> you got to sell craft in that. It was a lot of people's guilty pleasures. Also, the ending is pretty much, uh, you die this way by your own means, or you let your obsession take over and you get killed because of your own. And you have a face of fate even worse than death. 
Yeah, they make you pick that. So. Yeah. Which, to be honest, is probably going to be the canon ending if you think about it. Because. Uh, because Tap was fucking obsessed with Saw 2. Maybe it was Tap? I don't know. There's STEM, system that, operations, the test begins. Going on. I forgot most of them. I, I have the whole series on DVD. I need to rewatch. He should, so, probably, uh, he should probably get checked almost immediately. Which makes doing a girl who's a virgin or something. Or no, wait, no, a virgin girl woman. Do you ever have this one kid? We had to learn about him in health class, right? Uh, so the two ways in the world that meat spread was through sexual transmission, obviously, and blood. This poor kid got a blood Oh, shit. Hey, buddy. You say 11 at the time, I think you need to be a Look, it's the sadist. How you doing, buddy? I'm just chilling in here. Ignore me. Ooh, this part's actually making me nervous. This part's... This part is Dude, this part's actually making me nervous. He saw me. Well, I'm screwed. Chair. He lost me. Hope he saw me. Yeah, I think I'm dead. Yeah, I'm screwed. Ah, oh, shit. Uh-oh. How one <sighs> You see what I mean by annoying? Like, I get it. You're supposed to use the bottles, but crud Christ almighty. Like, this game is meant to... Like, this part early in the game is meant to teach you there's bottles over there. Use them, dumbass. Need to hurry. Hurry up, man. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Oh, 100%. Oh, dude, my heart. Oh, my heart. Oh. Oh, oh my heart. Oh, it hurts. It's scaring me. Oh. Game's doing the typical, oh, he's just trying to at least walking towards you slowly. Oh. 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 Thank God. Oh. What sucks? You gotta fight him later on. Oh. At least I have a weapon by then. But Jesus Christ. Chapter 9 is gonna be even worse. No, you don't find them in chapter 9. You find someone way worse, and you can't kill them in chapter 9. Oh, wait, chapter find 5 is also bad. Oh, yeah, you gotta get ready like this anymore. Also, his leg's healed now, apparently. Somehow, the dude game magic, don't question it. Also, despite the low resolution, it actually looks... The game looks amazing, despite the low resolution. No, the PS4 version. No, it has no upgrade. It's just been 1080p 30 the whole time. Yeah, it's been stuck at 1080p 30 for the last 10 years.
which is why I play it on PC. If you're playing on a Series X, the game gets an upgrade, but yeah. Hey, Connolly. How you doing, buddy? Oh, shit. That's a bit too loud. Okay, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Let's go. Keep going. Come on, you can do it. Hey, Ru Hello. He's Fred Durst. He packs a chainsaw. <laughs> Joseph. Man, I'm sorry, but you never came out. I waited, but... Uh... Please, settle down, Leslie. Settle down, Leslie. Settle down, Leslie. Settle down, Leslie. Shit! There's no going back. Yeah, sure. Yep. Yep. So there's an earthquake happening and we don't know why. Yeah, that was a hell of an earthquake, wasn't it? Shit. Oh shit, six people are watching. Holy hell, how y'all doing? Damn it. How are we cut off from everyone? Oh yeah, Fred Durst, we escaped. Must be dead. Just a few bumps, we're fine. 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 We will be once we're fine. far away. Fine. A little further and we'll be fine. Yeah. Fine. 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 Oh fine. no, he's losing fine. it. Fine. My boy's losing it. Fall! Fall! Oh shit! Dude, you, you know what's fucked up is that you're probably gonna get really nostalgic because there's a lot of stuff inspired by Saw and the like. No, we're not we're not streaming to Twitch. T we're not no JK. We're not streaming to Twitch. Although I wanted to think about doing it, but it probably destroy my PC. So that's a no. Also, I have coffee, so it's gonna keep me up for a bit. Hi. How y'all doing? Uh, 
Oh, it's oh, it's you. Hello. No, I would not like to get my dick sucked. Can you get off me, please? All of us are. Oh, I think this is low. not even 1080p. I think this is 720p. Oh no, this is bad. Yeah, because the game ran like ass on release. Even within two, it runs way better. It even runs like at 1440 on or 1800p on like PS5. But oh my god. I mean, I had the Xbox One version, which I think ran better. Hello? Anybody there? I mean, you either owned a Xbox One or a PS4 back then. PS4 as Xbox One. <laughs> hey, Tatiana. Oh. How you doing? Is everyone else all right? The city. Whatever are you talking about? You are the only soul here. Right now. Man, it sucks we'll never get an Evil Within 3. Because Evil Within 2 left on a cliffhanger. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. This place is necessary for you. No, everyone lived. It's just that there was like a teaser in the I'm end, and it never showed off what happened next. Cause we're never gonna get a third. Please sign in here. Without signing in, there is no way to ensure your future memories. I don't. Is it just me, or does that sound like a hint of Makoto? It's the way her. You know how Makoto speaks? It's like the way she speaks, and I don't know if that's the same actor. See what? You see what I mean? There's like, dude, this could definitely be a part of the set of Saw. This is definitely a, a could be Saw trap. Please, have a seat. Like this part. Tell me, tell me, this does not fit in Saw. This fits in Saw 100%, right here. What the hell? This is definitely a, that's a Saw trap right there. <laughs> you mustn't fight it. This is for your own good. No, stop. This is a saw trap if I've ever seen one. You want me to activate? Want me to activate the saw trap? <laughs> there now, you see? All better. Like the, second one for a bit. Lady, the second one doesn't have the same charm, but it's still a great game. The first one had a very modern, grit, uh, classic 2000s gritty horror vibe going on. The new, the sequel's like modern, it's like a modern horror movie. Which is, depending on your cup of tea, if you like those stuff, and you know, and then. Like, it's not as gritty. I still love it, though. It has a way better story than the first one. Gameplay is heavily improved. And store and mechanics are just a lot more fun to go through. Like, you can fucking suplex it, dude. Shit. What the hell is going on? Well, that's suplex, on? but it's more like DDT, some dumbass, or RKO, some dude, and it's amazing. Where am I? Yeah, you can just straight up, Kidman. like, Where are um, you? sneak attack some dude, and you could just RKO a dude in the back oh, of the head with a knife. <laughs> it's the old school gritty horror. Like, the shit with blood everywhere, that's the shit I miss. Oh, Christ. Hello. This is also obviously meant to be an homage to the original RE1 zombie scene. Yeah, this is definitely meant to- this is just ripped from RE1, dude. Straight up- this is just straight ripped from RE1 and I love it. Also, these guys take a- take a shockingly amount of head- Yeah, these guys take a shockingly large amount of headshots. So... Yeah, also, ammo is very scarce in this game, to a fault, so 
And not only that, there is a stealth mechanic. Unfortunately, it sucks. <laughs> Hello, Leslie. Hurts! Hurts! Whoa. Were you warning me about this? You are Leslie, right? I'm a police officer. Maybe I should help you. Should help you? Shit. How am I gonna get you to a hospital? Hospital. 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 Hospital! What the fuck? Also, the game has a lot of weird voice acting bits and also some story plot holes but that's the charm it's a bug it's charm you know what's fucked up you can say what you want but sprint having stamina in the horror game i here's the thing that's just sort of expected at this point if you're gonna have a horror game and have a sprint reader it's like well you gotta make tension somehow right <laughs> Justify the player not running around everywhere. Community needs all the help they can get. Seemingly a dis disproportionate amount of crime these days. Crimson City is my home. It's my job to protect it. Oh god, they did not name a Crimson City with a K. That is Kentucky oh, County Police Department. Dude, that is that is oh, how do we name our horror city? I don't know. Something with blood. Crimson. Let's do with that. <laughs> it's like we don't know how to. Sure it starts with a K and ends with a Y. Crimson City, got it. Why? Why isn't it Crimson City? Because you know, blood and blood's crimson. You're a genius. Do that. <laughs> Who do I sign the promotion check to? Pretty much. Is that a real number? Can I? <laughs> Last four digits. <laughs> oh my God, yeah, that would work. It's a ten-digit number. Let's, you want to try it? Maybe it's a promo thing for this game. I'm going to try it. Hold on. If it's real. Hold on, just in case, because I want to end up calling some random dude. And they're going to be wondering why the fuck this random dude's calling. 6969. Oh, it's a prank call sort of thing. Okay. Oh, you said it to your friends to scare them. Maybe. Hold on. Hold on. I'm checking just in case. Hey, usually they don't set these, they don't tell you numbers unless it's a promo bit. If you see the classic 555, you know you don't need to try to call it as they reserve for fictional telephone numbers. Oh, interesting. I know God of War, the original PS2 version, had one. It was cool back then. Hang on, I might be recording from the wrong mic again. Let me check. Oh, shit. Hey, buddy. Webcam is a mic. No, you're not. Oh, no, you're good now. Come on, Come on, buddy. I promise that was slouching. Come on, buddy. Don't turn around, jackass. Hi. <laughs> right in his, in the back of the head. Oh, it's. 800-588-2300 Empire today. Oh yeah, they're finally doing Invincible vs. Bardock. I, I'm gonna have to fast forward the fucking Invincible analyses because I don't want spoilers for the comics which are often associated with Invincible. I don't read the comics because apparently they have a different story. Oh yeah, um, early Invincible was a bit jank. Hello. Oh shit, that's how they turn. Now the question is, is any of this actually happening or is it all going on in the character side? Oh boy. This gonna be weird. So am I old or does anyone here remember Flum? Let's see. Start running, asshole. Bye bye.
Don't try to grab me. Don't grab me, grab. Do I sound better now? Kinda. I was on the wrong voice setting. I messed my old mic because I had very specific settings for it. Okay, let me lower you down again because you're a bit loud on here, so I don't know if streams are going to be too loud on you. Okay, there you go. Whew, that was close. Hey, JK, what's your favorite horror movie? He's not asking. He says he has a gun pointed to his head. I'm not asking. I just have a fucking... No, I'm, I'm just ready to fucking slit the throat of a koala bear. Let me know, asshole! This koala gets it. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> so I have Game Pass. I would try it, but it's... Yeah. I feel like I'm being pulled just looking at it. Which reminds me, are they gonna release... Ah, let's see. Where to go? I don't know why they're not putting Metaphor on a uh, Game Pass. I'm guessing because they know that they don't want to lose out on sales because of Metaphor. I mean, they won't. Either way, I don't think they want to risk it. What are Metaphor system requirements? Because I was getting quite a bit of lag in the demo. Even though they said that's normal for the demo because they were having optimization problems. Apparently someone figured out the problem. I think I sent you a link to it. Someone figured it out, I think. Well, I'm assuming they'll patch it once the actual game comes out. Oh, 100%. Like you said, the demo... Oh, de the demo... Ha oh, of course the demo now is an update. It probably fixes it, I bet. Maybe. I don't know for disk space. What the fuck? At this... It's like this hotel, and they essentially get kidnapped by this uh, body harvesting organization, and it's fucking great. I'm gonna back up. Uh, basically, the whole the whole premise was to like promote Amer was to show how bad American xenophobia was, because Americans didn't want to go to any other country after 9/11. It was to show like how bad that was. Yeah. What do you mean not enough free disk space? What do you? Fucking talking about. Well, then again, 9 11 was pretty bad, so. Oh, I know. Uh. Matt properties. Install files. <laughs> uh, can I not verify the integrity of the bullshit? Uh. You know, I love when stuff works right. Also, for some reason, uh, the PC version of this game is borked for some reason. What do you mean, borked? Like, it's a very bare bones. Ooh! <laughs> I did not see that. But it's like a. Oh, just a shitty port. Yeah, like, the game is capped at 30, no matter what you do. Um, you have to go, like, into the indie files to mess with shit. You have to do a lot of shit through the indie files, and it sucks. And basically, it was just fucking, um... It was just fucking Nicolas Cage going ham on robots. <laughs> uh, so, the director of Schmandable Smallocast died in Rome on December 20... 29th at... Tw in 2022... From pneumonia, kidney failure, and liver failure at the same time. What a fucking metal way to die. You die from deep three different things. We just don't know what killed them first. We really don't, though. Well, from what I can tell, from what my mom's told me about these things, he was probably weak from the pneumonia. Or no, oh, he was probably so weak from kidney like... and liver failure, so his immune system was fucked, and that's why the pneumonia probably got him. Oh, so it was like a trip, a double whammy sort of thing. It was like two Basically, things. his kidney and liver failed, and his immune system got fucked, and he died of pneumonia. That's why it's so dangerous for senior citizens to get pneumonia. So it was a double whammy sort of situation. Essentially... I mean, like, if it's Smanable Small Ocost is banned in Australia, because I hate saying it like that. It's and... annoying. Uh, Cannibal Holocaust, a guy that is Smanable Small Ocost was banned at various times in Australia, Norway, Finland, Iceland, Singapore, and South Africa, and so... Uh, oh, oh, fuck! Never mind, they... 
It's not banned anymore. It was released in 2005. When was the movie made? Uh, originally made in 19. Oh, it was. Oh, it was 1980. I thought it was like early internet, like 2000. So it came out in Australia in 83, and then was re-rated in 2005, and then re-rated again in to R to R18. Yep, that'll do it. Yep, yep. Didn't say it was censored though. That's interesting. Uh, what other controversial horror movies are there? Uh, have you ever watched Human Centipede? No, no, don't bring that I up. Do. Don't, don't bring that it's up. It's actually. Don't. Pretty fucking tame compared to most horror movies. Nowadays. So much so that the sequel was made to be a parody of the first movie. And what people thought it actually was. Just like Joker 2. Which was fucking awful. Uh, speaking of which, this man watched Joker 2 a while Shit. back. Better get out uh, I, wanna, I want my money back! Like, there wish you could just unsee a movie. Yep. I yeah, want my money back. I want my two hours and 30 minutes back. I know a movie just like that, and the only reason I watched it is because I could get out of school early. I don't know what that movie was. What? Morbius. What was Morbius? That really that shitty... That MCU thing? It was that, yeah, it's an MCU thing where it's like one of the Spider-Man villains getting a movie. You know, it was like a vampire dude, and it had the uh, really shitty Joker acting as Morbius. Speaking of Marvel, I saw the tra preview for Venom 3. I need to watch those two movies. They look really good. Most Did they delist the demo? Most Marvel movies are, have to be connected to the main story somehow. But yeah. Oh! Like, and apparently they were even hinting at Venom showing up in the MCU. But then they threw plans out of that out of the window, because, um, I think I told you this. Sony and Marvel have a deal that if Sony uses any Spider-Man villains, Marvel's not allowed to use them. Which is why I think Sony's trying to use every single bit of their power to make a movie about every single one of them. Wait, I'm really confused. I think they delisted the demo, so how am I supposed to transfer my save data then? I think there's gonna be an option in the oh, game. Oh, wait, I have to re- never mind, I have to re-download from the page. Eh. Oh, I am stupid. I am stupid. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I'm really dumb. Like, Marvel and DC need to, like, make a rated R, like, movie label like they have for their comics. Like the black labels, for example. Because holy shit would I like a rated R Deathstroke movie. There are a few cartoon Deathstroke movies that are rated R. Like, I you think... throw, like, the Vietnam controversy in there, you could do all this shit with it. But no, we can't get a fucking Deathstroke movie because he's an Arrow. I don't give a shit about Arrow. Fucking reboot Deathstroke and give me a good Dude, movie. Dude, Arrow Deathstroke is amazing! Like, get the, here's the thing, the actor for, for Death... Oh! Like, the actor for Deathstroke the actor and for... Arrow... <laughs> the actor for Arrow and Deathstroke, he is a fucking ama... He is... Oh, shit! No, 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 I'm saying... You can use the same actor, just like separated from Arrow. Oh yeah, like, dude, here's, here's the thing. The actor for Deathstroke and Arrow is... I just dude, don't like the show Arrow. Dude, he was a perfect casting choice, man. He was perfect. Like, everyone that watched uh, Arrow and saw Deathstroke, a lot of people unanimously agree. If there's going to be a Deathstroke movie, get the actor and make him be Deathstroke, because he is amazing as him. Dude. They could just tell his origin story, which I would like them to do. Uh, Wolverine. I gotta show you the Alien Romulus one though. It's fucking cool. And the I thing like, is, the eBay. one for the one for Deadpool and Wolverine looked hella sus because it just had Wolverine but with his mouth wide open and it looked hella, it looked so weird. Who's there? No, don't shoot. Hello. I'm not one of them. I'm a doctor. Oh, of course people are selling them for like multiple you amounts of money. You're gonna have Deathstroke, yes, JK? Okay. Have you seen anyone else? My patient Leslie. I saw him running up ahead, but... Can I not? But... Oh, of course people are scalping the alien popcorn buckets for some reason. I don't know why. It's a fucking bucket. 
Of all the things to scalp, why that? A really cool fucking bucket. I'm, I don't want to put shit in. Have a look for but, yourself. You know. Those things. See, it's the kind of thing I don't even use for the popcorn. I would just Me use too. it for fucking storage They're all over the place. of things. Like, look at this motherfucker. Leslie went through that gate. It even glows. Ah, oh, shit. Good lord. There are too many yeah, look at the Discord right chat. Now. Oh, let me One see of it. Us could try to lure them away while the other gets the gate open. That is the You're popcorn the bucket for them. Alien Romulus. Yo, that actually looks sick. At least sick. the best one That actually looks That's sick. That's fucking cool. Dude, you can use that as like a way to decorate your room too, because it's like a work as a yeah, popcorn dude, bucket like, and as a way like to decorate a cool your room. Novelty thing you could put on a shelf, and I totally put that on a shelf. Yeah, that is yeah. awesome. You should find this useful. It was 2016, so I would have been. No, this game came yeah, out in 2014. 20. Like this game came out in 2014. You sure? Yeah, it came out in 2014. I think I was 16 when this came out. No, this game came out in 2014. This way, please. Which for a 2014 game, this game looks gorgeous. But I would have been like 16 or 18 when this came out then. Where are you taking me? Wait, oh, I would have been 18 when this came out. Even within you two, it came out in 2017. Same year as GTA 5 then. No, the year before. No, GTA 5 came out the year before. The thing GTA 5 came out in 2014, dude. I was 18 when that came out. Here's also the main problem with this game is that this game was hyped up in order. This game was hyped up in a way. Um, a lot of the marketing was sort of painting this game as the next RE4, but I think everyone knows how that panned out. Do you have nope. a key like this? <laughs> that key will allow you to open this door. Yeah, they painted this game as the next RE4, which... <laughs> yeah. uh, oh, that's funny. Ah, uh, this random fucking, like, vault thing. The contents are yours. Please, come Thank back you. whenever you need Assuming to. you know where everything is, though. No, I, my memory's starting to, My memory's faded. I haven't played this game in a while, so I don't really remember where all the shit is. Unless it randomizes for a new playthrough. No, it doesn't randomize. <laughs> There's a shitload of keys, I just don't know where they are. That sounds like a uh, skill issue. Pretty much, because I have not I do not remember anything at all for the past couple years. When you were a kid, you were playing FF10. We get it, JK. We get it, JK, you're old. Oh, speaking like of which. One? But by the way, speaking uh... of which, remember how I found out about the, uh um I found out about the Minecraft movie earlier than I should have. Well, I know how. How? My game design teacher. One day we were just like chilling, working on our projects, and my my teacher was like bored one day, and he just started playing like YouTube videos. And he was like, "By the way, did you know they're making a Minecraft movie?" And I looked at him and I did. I said, "My, they're fucking making what?" <laughs> oh, yeah, you can mod your. Uh... Yeah, you can do that. You can add an HDMI port to One Up cabinet. That was close. Okay, I'll have to keep that tabbed. So we could totally play some Pac-Man if I figure out how to do that. Oh. I mean, granted, if I was ever going to stream Pac-Man, I'd probably just throw it on my PS1 emulator or something. There are two weapons in this area. I just need to find them. What's there? I know Pac-Man's on literally every single console that you can think of. Even mobile phones. So there's got to be a PS1 port of Pac-Man somewhere. You mean you know, it's probably best to play the PS2 version. You're probably talking about Pac-Man World, which Pac-Man World One is apparently really good. World Two is great as no, well. No, dude, Pac-Man is on everything. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, I know that noise. Oh no. You know, I forgot Vim's Lair got fucking nailed. Oh yeah, uh, they got nailed by. You know who. Thanks, no Nintendo and Sega, up. shockingly. Uh, speaking of slander. Good old slander. I will go later, but I have to get up at 6. That's fine. Thank you for that. Thank you for this. Flashbolt, which I can, can't can use yet because I don't have the Agony Crossbow. The Agony Crossbow. 
Yeah, that's what it's called. That's something I have to find. Yeah, it's somewhere here. I just need to find it. The boss is right there in that barn. I just need to go and find. Oh, I remember this fucking boss. You have to lure him into spikes or something. No, you gotta like straight up just play ring around the rose. Play ring around the rosy with the dude. You know what? I want to see you play Dark Souls three and actually see you beat it. I have Dark you're Souls. You're always so quick to say like you're awful at Dark Souls. Yeah, but I want to see you beat it. I have Dark Souls three. We could definitely play through it. Want to do it next week? Oh! But you're minimal. Thanks, asshole. I love when Toriyama just named the Ginyu Force after Japanese food puns of shit he had in his fridge. <laughs> I hate that you're not wrong. Ginyu is Japanese for milk. Fucking juice is just an onomatopoeia of juice. Boldo is Japanese for yogurt. Boldo, cheese, Ginyu. Ow! Fuck! The agony crossbow somewhere here. Here it is. Oh no. Burger is just butter. Japaneseified. Burger, cheese, Ginyu. Goldo. Who am I missing? Oh, Raccoon. Here are Raccoon is. Shit. Where are you, buddy? Come on over here. Come on. Right there. Might be just green. Thought it was ricotta cheese or some shit. Nah. Kakarot is carrot. And I love Vegeta's just king vegetable. Essentially, that's what that means. Yeah, he was named after his father. So we sold the Spanish, like, vegetable mix called Vegeta in my store? No shot. No, what? No, wait, no shot. You. <laughs> what? It's a real product. It was this Spanish vegetable, like, paste or something called Vegeta. And I always wanted to take a picture of it and Photoshop Vegeta How did you get onto it. So quickly. You're welcome to give it Just a try. It's funny. Please, time is of the essence. It's a real product. I'm going to show you. We find Leslie before anything should happen to him. Hey, fucker! How you doing? They're just chilling there. Like you think I'm lying? I am not lying. Experiment number four. Sold the four. shit by the can. Subject numbers four through thirteen. Hey, look! It's your favorite voice actor, Saw activity Man. Diminished, but synchronization achieved. Subjects should begin experiencing a shared consciousness. Previous trials actor? indicated rapid deterioration of consciousness. Their minds became an exquisite mass. Nah, that's not Toad Bell. Mental carrion. Good impression, though. I'll have to connect myself if I want to experience their terror before it diminishes. You cannot tell me they were inspired by Tobin Bell for this guy. Uh, yeah. Anyway, look at my Discord chat. I told you it's real. Let me see it. It's literally just a vegetable powder mix thing. That's a, that's gonna be a save. Anyways. <laughs> this shit's a real product! Are you shitting me? <laughs> No, no, that's not we used real. To sell it. In my grocery store, we used to sell it, dude. <laughs> yeah, I think we all know Bulma's bloomers. We think we know that. Aisle 18, left hand side. Neji, Lee, and Ten Ten were 13, because they got held back a year. Ain't that cray cray, though. Okay, everyone's dead, so I can. I don't have to worry about them. I'm gonna save real quick before anything else because I don't want to end up dying in this fucking. Not the Simporto, which if you Romanize, becomes Bolt, which means, which makes sense because he uses the lightning release. Are you sure about that? Because I'm pretty sure in the Ninja Storm games he uses wind. <laughs> yeah, 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 he's just bullshitting. Boruto uses wind. God, I can't bring myself to watch Boruto. I'm like. 
People say to watch it just for the slice of life elements of Naruto and his family, but I already know Naruto's the shittiest dad ever. So it's like, why would I want to watch that? Yeah, he's not really a good dad. And not because he's like a terrible father or a bad person. He's just not a good dad because he's never had a dad. See, that makes sense. Then again, aren't any anime dads good dads? Not really. Excluding Maka's dad from Soul Eater. Not really. I mean, the closest thing I could think of to a good... Maka's dad's a good dad, and then you have the... Alright, the best dads in anime are Maka's dad, the dad from, uh... Spy X Family. And then you have, uh... Spy X Family, Maka's dad, who am I forgetting here? Oh, then you have Shanks from One Piece. Fuck you, he's the closest thing we have to Luffy's dad. He also is an actual dad, by the way. Whatever is the oh, is he? Yeah, he's a- yeah, Oh he's... yeah, that movie! I haven't seen it yet. I heard it's good, but you need to watch so much of One Piece to understand it. Not really. You only really need to watch the first few seasons to know the impact Shanks had. And that apparently- Dude, Shanks fucking scared a sea dragon by looking at it. Oh, you think that's- like, Yeah, it got his- Dude, here's the it thing- It got you his think... arm, fucking stares at the damn thing, and it's like, Oh, shit! Dude, here's the thing. That's not even his most badass feat. And the thing is, you would know if you watched the rest of the series, which you didn't. He has way dude, more better one feats piece than just is so that. Fucking metal. Like you literally have a dude that decapitates his own leg with an anchor. It was so badass they had to cut it from the live action version. Oh, they kept it in the live. Actually, they kept the live action version. Remember? They just implied. Well, no, it. he he doesn't do it in the manga, and I think they kept the manga version of that scene. No, the manga is the fucking. Oh, oh no, yeah, the manga version is the one where he ate his leg. I forgot. Well, no, he eats his leg in both. He just cuts it off with an anchor in the anime version and doesn't do that in the manga. Dude, in the live action in the manga, he used a rock. <laughs> I still think the anchor thing is just badass as fuck, dude. You know, a good thing? Okay, yeah, but, uh... Let's not forget, he also came up with the most convoluted plan to save the, to save the planet, which put his son in danger at 11 years old. Then again, yeah, that's the only downside, but then again, that's gonna be seen as, like, he had good faith in his son. Like, he truly believed Gohan could pull it off, and he was right. Oh, no, it was fucking amazing, but, like, let's not forget that he did that. Also, let's not even go over Ichigo's mess of a father. <laughs> oh, oh, dude, here's the... Bleach is a whole different story. He's not a bad guy! He's just fucking awkward. Not only that, they made his fucking lore complicated as fuck. Like, his dad's not a bad dad, he's just... I swear he's autistic. <laughs> Do they made fucking Gein's lore just complic- or Shin's lore complicated as fuck? Doesn't he come back in the newest season as an actual Soul Reaper, cause reasons? Or didn't oh. he help out in the Soul Reaper war arc though? He helped out when Aizen was involved. technically had his powers. He still he does. He didn't lose your powers, he just retired. Yeah, he never lost them, he just retired essentially, and he faked- My question is, I thought when you were a Soul Reaper, you were technically undead, so how the hell did he have kids? Ow! Two! But I think you get Don't consult lead. up your own ass with the plot. Yeah... God, I hated it. Goku Black was really good until the ending. Hey, hello, buddy. How you doing? Is that uh, the boss? Yep. What was your favorite DBS arc? Mine was Goku Black. Up uh, we're talking the ending. entire series, including manga. Probably the. Uh, uh, I would say Granola, even though Granola arc also has a lot of problems. Yeah, I haven't read the granola arc. I'm just waiting for that to be animated. Hey, buddy. How you doing? I think what they should do is they should just continue doing movies instead of, like, full seasons. They should just have a granola arc movie instead. No, they're not. What was that, the granola... The granola arc was the current arc, and it's one of the better ones. Oh, come on! There was another one of you? Where'd you come from? 
just never did. You think all voice actors will upset something? That's it? Probably my favorite Naruto form, honest to god, was his uh, four-tail transformation in the Orochimaru fight. Oh, hello. Hello, you, creepy boy. Oh, yeah, it's lagging right now. What the fuck? We should probably call it to 2 a.m. on my part. Well, it's perfect anyways. We just killed the boss. And I have to get up at 6 tomorrow. It, says the, it says the signal's excellent. Actually, you know what? After probably this... my end. No, it's not, Disc it's not Discord. It's just the stream itself. Luckily, after this part, there's going to be a save point, so I think we're good. So it's just in time, too. <laughs> anyway. I saw my favorite Naruto movie is Blood Prison. Like, Blood Prison and the fourth Shippuden movie are my favorites. Alright. Let's do this. Bombs can go die in a fire. Well, the fire can literally go die in a fire. The first three Naruto movies in the goal, like the first series, were okay, and everything else was kind of. Eh. Okay, stream fixed itself. We're good. I still think the worst Naruto movie of all time was uh, the Kakashi one, the Will of Fire one. Why? Wait! Because the whole point of that movie was we're gonna have Kakashi Wait, go kill himself. Officer, Enjoy. You must take me with you. Detective Castellanos. That was literally the plot of that movie. And it was terrible, dude. Oh, that sounds bad. Literally the plot was we're gonna have Kakashi go fake his own like go commit suicide or whatever because he gets possessed. Meanwhile, we're gonna have everyone go against Naruto, who's currently trying to stop him, and it was the fucking worst Naruto movie ever made. Because it's very out of character for Kakashi, because, like, why? We got possessed, but still, it was fucking terrible. The last? Oh, Naruto the last? Oh, yeah, apparently it was, it was decent. I like Naruto the last. The one yeah. with the moon, right? Yeah, the one with, like, he marries Hikinata or some shit. At the end, yeah. Apparently that's also shown in the anime. My favorite Shippuden ones were 4 and Blood Prison, because Blood Prison was interesting, because it's like, what if we take away everybody's, like, elemental power and really focus on, like, actual themes of the story and, like, slice of life stuff? And it was uh, done really well. Yeah, but alright. Alright, guys and gals, what do we call ourselves? We're gonna end stream here, um, because we're getting tired. All right, my Apache helicopter bros. We're gonna just chill out and just get ready to end stream here. If you all like the stream and those that are new, I really appreciate you guys subscribed. It'll be awesome if you did. We're gonna be streaming on Tuesday with some more Resident Evil because for some weird fucking reason, Resident Evil kept breaking on my end or my stream. I'll be back on Wednesday and I'll probably be absent on Friday because Metaphor Re Fantasio comes out and I'm. Kinda want my time to myself for that. I think everyone's gonna want to. Especially time. since these new streaming restrictions, stream restrictions are really annoying, and I don't want to risk them. Though, who am I kidding? I'll probably stream it if I have the time to. But yeah. Anyways, for those that enjoyed the stream, I really appreciate I just don't want to break this whole October theme. And it really appreciate you subscribed and like the video. Go like the stream. Go subscribe to this man as well. His YouTube is Japan Lover Seventy Nine. Sure. Remember, awesome. if you want to see a pumpkin get murdered, subscribe to me. Or to me. Get 200 subs on my end or 50 subs on his end. And we, and he will destroy a pumpkin. So, uh, And go follow my TikTok, because that's in the running, too. If that gets to... If that gets to 400 subscribers, that'll count as well. You mean 400 followers? Mm-hmm. Anyway, and for those watching after uh, My TikTok's the same name, people. And for those watching after the stream, I'd really appreciate if you guys subscribed and followed this man on YouTube, like as well, you already explained it. And leave any leave a like if you like the stream, and leave any comments if you say any nice things to me or any criticisms about the stream. And uh, we're gonna go to bed. Cause we're tired. Anyways. Make sure to criticize Shinigami's awful evil event skills, I'm only kidding. <laughs> Joke's on you, bitch. 
Anyways, bye-bye, guys and gals, you want whatever you want to call yourselves. See you on Tuesday.